Moving along now to the next event, which is the Motorcycle News Qualifier. Once again, over six laps with the first five riders going into the 3XY Supercross Final. The man to watch in this one is California's Chuck Sun. He's on bike number S, and I also spoke to him earlier this afternoon. Chuck, you, you're riding with the Honda team with Marty Motes. Uh, which of the two of you do you think is the best rider? <laughs> well, Marty and I go way back, and uh, without creating a lot of conflict, I just have to say that I am not. <laughs> no, but uh, Marty's a good rider, and uh, the first time we had a confrontation was in La Paz, Mexico, about five years ago, and we battled handlebar to handlebar. I did win out over him there. Uh, he was the U.S. Grand Prix winner in 80, I was the winner in 81, so we've got uh, records to match each other, and I think I maybe have a little bit of an edge tonight. You had a bit of a coming together in practice yesterday. How have you gone today? Well, uh, yesterday was kind of interesting because we were kind of racing around, playing with each other, checking out each other's lines, and we're both going for the turn down here. I figured I had the advantage, and he said his throttle stuck, and he ran into me, and we both went down, and uh, I hope he doesn't do the same thing tonight, but... Uh, he did have a stuck throttle and uh, should be all right tonight. Okay, thank you very much and best of luck. Okay, thank you very much. Ready to go to this one, race number six here tonight at Olympic Park. All eyes on the starter and the gate, down the drops and away they go, up to that first corner, super action all the way through, plenty of arms and elbows uh, touching there as they went through, even handlebars, and uh, looking through the glasses on the far side of the circuit, it is number S, yes, Chuck Sun, or the letter S we should say, and boy oh boy, he's heading the field and showing uh, a clean pair of grips, if we might call it that way, uh, over the, the big jump. Look at the way he flies on the red Honda machine, absolutely flying there as he comes down over the Honda, quads in the front here, twisting the front wheel, almost waving to the crowd. None of the fellas have got too much time to do that at the moment. But uh, number 53 in second place it would be, and number three in third. 53 in second, Gary Owen from New South Wales on Suzuki. Number three in third place is Daryl Willoughby, Daryl Shotgun Willoughby from South Australia. So Chuck Sun disappearing away in the setting sun, if we can call it that, because he's uh, getting increasing his lead on this second lap. With still a long, long way to go. A lot more jumps and corners to negotiate before the checkered flag comes out. But Chuck Sun really showing the way. Number 10 on his back there, that's the jersey he bought from uh, America. Obviously a number he uses regularly over there. We like to know him as uh, letter S here, Chuck Sun from USA. In second place, still no change for number 53. Number 4 has moved to third place in front of number 3, so that's a change. Ray Vandenberg now in third place. Ray Gook Vandenberg in third on Suzuki. Uh, following uh, hounding the back of uh, number 53 in the second spot being Gary Owen. Right, Chuck Sun still there, flying in three. He uh, slips around the corners up towards the northern end of our circuit there, showing that so clean pair of wheels. And uh, I don't think, well, at least not as far as my program is concerned, we've seen one of our visiting Americans uh, really get away from the rest of the field like uh, Chuck Sun is doing. Almost uh, everything off the machine as he flies through the air. A very quiet and uh, unassuming sort of a young fellow. Having a talk with him the other day, uh, you wouldn't think that he's such a, such a devastating rider of motocross machines as we're seeing here tonight. Look at him go. Over those jumps, every which or what a way, as they say. And uh, flashlights going in the, uh, the large crowd here at Olympic Park to try and capture some action to take home and get developed next week for the photo album. Chuck Sun will certainly be registered well and truly uh, in the results of tonight, I'm sure, with our big one coming on later in the evening, the 25 uh, lap 3XY uh, Starlit Supercross International. Here he comes again, Chuck Sun on the Machine S. Look at the, uh, the height that he jumps. The machine absolutely going like a switch watch. It's a Honda machine. What else? It's uh, really ticking well. And uh, Chuck Sun showing the way. Back in second place. No change. Number 53 in second. Number 4 in third place. 53, of course, from South Australia, Gary Owen. And number 4, uh, Ray Vandenberg from Victoria. One of our... Uh, future uh, Australian champions and no doubt to that in, uh, in Ray Vandenberg but he's having quite a struggle to get past Gary Owen uh, 
and even both of those fellows having a struggle and a half to catch up or even see Chuck Sun at this stage because Chuck Sun on machine S, the Honda, has absolutely disappeared in the distance, coming through once again. Beautiful red Honda machine, the water cool machine, little radiator tucked in under the front, uh, uh, under the handlebars here in front of the petrol tank, and uh, that's really giving him some super steam. Of course, Suzuki's having uh, radiators on their machine too, and they're going well, but they're having a struggle and a half to uh, make up ground on Chuck Sun. Ray Vandenberg has now taken over second place, so number four in second position, as they slip around as the man in the course here at Olympic Park. Uh, Chuck Sun, the leader, of course, Ray Vandenberg in second, Gary Allen in third, and I would hesitate to say uh, it would be Harold Willoughby in uh, the next position, place number four on machine number three, Yamaha machine from South Australia. Down the front straight again, Chuck Sun, almost taking his feet off the footrest as he goes, flies high in the air there over the Honda Quad, and uh, absolutely flying past the other competitors. They're all going quickly, but Chuck Sun going half as fast again and showing the ability that this man has got from the USA. He's been around the motocross scene for a long, long time. Well, at 25 years, uh, you wouldn't think so, but he's, uh, he started at a very early age, of course, as soon as he can learn to ride a motorbike and save up the money to get the best one that he can get by picking strawberries in the USA, in Oregon. And he's showing us uh, the, uh, the skills that he learned in the USA and, of course, all the other parts of the world that he's been uh, in this form of our international motorsport, motocross racing. Chuck Sun disappearing away in second spot there. Just keep your eye out there. A little further back, but Ray Vandenberg is there, number four, on Suzuki. Now having cleared away from uh, third place competitor, that's uh, Gary Owen from South Australia. And Gary Owen's having a hard time too because Darrell Willoughby, his South Australian friend, right there with him, keeping the pressure on all the way around. And Chuck Sun, or I would say, a half a lap in front of this latest one. Over 10 laps of the, uh, of, them of the Melbourne Olympic Park uh, circuit, race number six here tonight, only a qualifying race too, so how is the final going to be later on? And all the big heavies will be out there showing us what to do to try and win the 3XY International Supercross Cup for 1982. Chuck Sun still there, put out madly in the, uh, in the uh, dirt here at, at Olympic Park down the back straight, taking the jumps as though they weren't there, as though it was a straight piece of freeway. Going north, he might be heading for Sydney, but he's not. He's at Olympic Park, he's showing how to ride up and down and around and about at a very fast rate of knots indeed. Still in second place, not taking anything away, although a long way back, Ray Vandenberg, uh, and of course, Gary Owen from South Australia. But USA leading, Victoria second, South Australia third and fourth at this stage of the race. The blue flag is out, one more left to go now. Let's follow Chuck Sun round on his last lap. See the way that he flies around, as if we haven't been watching him most of the race, but uh, trying to keep a easy eye on a lot of the other competitors. But Chuck Sun, the beautiful style, the relaxed style, as uh, you can see on the... Uh, the way that he comes down, particularly on our video screen here, and Chuck Sun from the USA, from Oregon, riding Honda machine, past those uh, battered straw bales there, as he slips round now into the front straight, and will take the Honda quad jumps in the greatest of ease, as the chequered flag is now being prepared to show for Chuck Sun, the letter S from the USA on Honda. Put your hands together. You might not be a Honda fan, but what about a big raging Melbourne cheer for Chuck Sun from the USA. Great right effort We know that there's many Honda fans here too, so you'll be double cheering for him. Ray Vandenberg, another one. What about a cheer for the Vicks there? Because Ray Vandenberg from our host club here tonight, the Motorcycle Racing Club of Victoria, who are conducting this meeting along with Starlet Productions, and Ray Vandenberg, number four, a very creditable second place indeed. Well, that makes it two all. Two for the United States and two for Australia. Congratulations to Chuck Sun for taking off that event. And he, of course, will be featuring in the final later on.